You may have never seen one of the new look AI speed cameras, but you soon will. After a trial in the West Country, they're heading to a road near you. Andrew Digma from Road Angel Group says they bring road surveillance to a whole new level. The difference with the new AI speed camera, it actually uses two cameras. Uh, one camera will get your speed reading and um, your AMPR um, for the uh, prosecution side of things. The other camera looks directly into the cab of the vehicle um, to basically see with your, uh, if you're compliance uh, with the rules of the road. For the first time, cameras can check if motorists are on their phone or not wearing seatbelts. So far, they've caught hundreds. In the first two weeks alone, nearly 2,000 drivers were caught speeding. One of the cameras is recording driving offences 120 times a day, something that Devon and Cornwall's Police and Crime Commissioner says is concerning. Well, I'm not, I can't say I'm pleased about that. Um, you know, in, we've only had it running uh, on a, a couple of roads where we've tested it out and we've had over 1,500 offences already, um, you know, within two weeks. I mean, that, that's not great. Uh, I, th I think for us, you know, it shows how much education on the roads is required. But of course, the scheme does have its critics. There are some that say that a camera that looks into your car can invade your privacy. Others say that this is another cash cow for the police. But Devon and Cornwall police have a target. They want to halve road deaths by 2040 and to eliminate them altogether by 2050. And for that, they need technology. Only technology is going to actually make this difference. If we get to the point of driverless cars and you can't speed and all those things, but you have to do a breathalyzer before you get in the car, before it'll start, Technology will be the ultimate solution, um, but until we get to that point, um, we've got quite a lot of ways that we can really help our community understand what it is they need to be doing now, because the technology isn't there to support them at the moment. But that technology is coming. Every day, five people die on our roads and 84 are seriously injured. It's hoped these new cameras will go some way towards bringing that number down and bringing us a step closer to a day when no one dies on our roads at all. Jeff Moody, GB News.